Hi everyone, it is October 23rd, 2018. In my last video, I showed that Chemtrail Planet was no longer available. Um, there is an S in there. Okay, something is amiss with our internet lately. But I want to show you that Chemtrail Planet is back up, or not back up, it's up, it's up, it's been up. But I'll get to that in a second. You see the S in here? I clicked on bookmarks, bookmarks of pages on Chemtrail Planet's website. And it brought me to this. Okay. I did not put in an S. I just clicked on the bookmark. Um, well, I have been getting comments from subscribers who are telling me channels are down on YouTube and then I go to check and the channel is up. I think we are getting not consistency on the internet anymore. I do think that what I see may not be what you see. And what you click on, it may be not directing you to the exact page. We now have to be careful. I was, I was really happy to hear from Jay Breezes who created this website telling me that her website is up so I needed to put this up immediately and if you have not been to Chemtrail Planet I hope that you bookmark and if you get to Chemtrails Planet then um, well do a little bit more to get to the right website and I'm really glad that this is up not just because I care about Jay Breezes but because it is a great site and it has a tremendous amount of information on uh, whistleblowers directed energy weapons uh, gun control global warming scam agenda 21 2030 detoxing fluoride Monsanto, Wi-Fi, vaccines, homeopathy, uh, animal deaths, dying trees, cloud types, uh, declassified documents, patents, chemtrail research, military and government documents, weaponized weather, strange rain and snow. Check it out. I will leave the link below. And please circulate it. Anyway, guys, if I upset anybody else in this video when I was saying that this uh, website was down, I apologize for that. I was very upset. Um, but it's not. So good. And I want to quickly tell you about John Knox's latest video posted yesterday. Haskell, no jail time. Posted yesterday, it has 98 views. Okay. Um, it, it, if you don't know who Chris Haskell is, he is a... Um, he has been a geoengineering chemtrail activist in Arizona for 10 years. And he has worked his butt off to try to get the word out and to educate those in his area uh, and then got arrested on bogus charges of terrorism. Now Chris Haskell has a site that I will show you. Let me bring it up. It's Haskell Films. I will link below and you can watch these videos to learn what happened to Chris. 
he was arrested. I think the folks out in Arizona, those authority figures, got a little bit tired of Chris trying to increase awareness in Arizona of the chemtrailing. That one, it's remarkable that we actually have to work hard to increase awareness when so much is going on above people's heads that all they have to do is take a look to see to see what is going on uh, but denial delusion it works for people so you can check out his videos and I just want to say you know I have been leaving responses to some comments and I don't know if people are getting my responses. Maybe they are and they just don't like my response. I don't know. Um, because now very often my response is um, I can't do what people want me to do. And I'm not happy about that. But it's not the way my life went in terms of my condition and because my life has been well I've just been a kind of free-floating human being out in the world uh, having no roots or uh, ending up in very unfamiliar places uh, and having no life I have I have been unable to make commitments and I have become increasingly unreliable because of my health, because of my memory. And watching this video, I was reminded of John Knox, Chris Hus Haskell asking people to email um, on behalf of Chris, those emails going to the judge. I completely forgot. And it does make me feel really pretty awful to know that I I was I didn't do what I said I was going to do. And I'm not liking that very much. The reason why I'm saying this is because we have been hit with so many assaults, toxic assaults, that the toll now is obvious. The toll that, that these assaults have had on me is obvious. Reading the comments from subscribers that I've known for a while and hearing that they're far worse. How many comments am I getting from people who are saying, I don't remember anything anymore? All of this affecting our memory. It's not just the chemtrailing, but it's also the frequencies and the ramping up, the intensity with which they are using frequencies now. It's alarming, to say the least. But these frequencies affect our cognition, our memory, our ability to think clearly, our psyche, our consciousness. And I do believe that they are now using these frequencies more regularly and more intensely to keep the population down. It works. It works. And it pisses me off. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to tell you Chemtrail Planet is up. And Chris Haskell gets no jail time, but he said that he was put back in county jail. John said he was put back in county jail. He's now discussing probation terms. Well, I hope he's out of jail now. Anyway.
I hope you guys have a good day. Detox regularly. Eat raw garlic. Keep your immune system strong and detox those heavy metals out of your body because we have been breathing them in 24-7 for many, many years. It is our atmosphere now. It is a chemical, heavy metal, toxic atmosphere. And what we are breathing in is doing a number to our brain. We need our brains, very, very important organ in the human body. We need to be able to think properly. So, ciao guys, links are below.